darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Hey guys, Ride YT here again, showing you guys a couple of things here that will help you guys out to not get scammed. This is actually an amazing way of in public lobbies not to get scammed by Dark Trooper. I'm going to link his YouTube down below. This is a confirmed scammer from XX. What is his name here? XX Killer, who I remember in the lobby, and he had he, he and Dark Trooper. I both dropped off into a Twine mission. This is what happened inside of the Twine mission where I dropped them off. So they went and they were kind of talking about what they needed to trade down below, kind of showing each other. Then they go into a trading box. This is probably similar to what you guys would see inside of a public lobby. And Dark Trooper goes about this the right way. So he does show some really good tricks for trading inside these public lobbies. Hopefully you guys can learn something from this. This guy tries to scam him, but does not end up scamming him in the end. So it's it's a great it's a great way to protect your guys protect you guys from getting scammed. So this guy goes ahead and shows Dark Trooper what he has. Can't really see what it is. They're they're both pretty protective. A lot of the scammers, you know, they they want to kind of hide what it actually is. They won't show you durability. They won't show you the materials and stuff like that. People, you know, that, that are like that. And Dark Trooper here, he holds on to the edit so this guy cannot get into here very easily. He drops something to show the man, holds on to the edits, lets the man see for a little bit, lets it go, and immediately picks it back up before the guy would have time to come in and do any kind of tricks to take it. So he shows him a few more things, picks it back up, lets that thing go. Now at this point, Dark Trooper starts to get suspicious and he wants to secure himself a little bit more. So you guys are going to see him set up a few things that are going to help him out. Um, so that guy actually has host on the lobby, which kind of sucks. You can get booted out if you guys do not have host. I would not trust anybody that is not a trusted seller in the Discord. If you guys want to go into the Discord, there are trusted sellers in the Discord that I trust to trade with. If you guys do not have a trusted seller rank, I would just trade very little stuff or not anything more. All right, so if you guys want to see the full footage, you guys can go over to his channel and see the whole thing. But basically, this is the end here where he puts the traps down so that the guy cannot edit these walls. So the only wall that this guy can edit is the center wall, and he holds on to the wall when he's dropping stuff. This is a very smart move. If you guys are trading in public lobbies, this is probably the way to go over here. You're gonna see here, he sets up the traps. It's gonna be extremely hard for this guy to edit through and grab anything. But this guy knows a little trick up his sleeve. He's host and tries to boot him out of the lobby. So you guys are gonna see here, he holds that edit and he's going to drop a few weapons but he knows that the guy can boot him out. So he drops a few weapons, pick him back up immediately, and here he gets booted on out. This has been some tri tricks and tips on trading in public lobbies. So hopefully this helps you guys out a little bit. If it has, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are subscribed and following. I am doing some gun drops just for all those who do. Just come into the live stream. We are live every single day. And I'll see you guys there. Peace out. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again.